better come on and play. Still McAnally. McLean. It's a beautiful one. Straight as a goal. by Sneddon, engineered by young McLean on the right wing. And so with 17 minutes still to play in this first half, Kilmarnock have got one of these very precious two goals that they're after. Well, if you'll pardon the cliche, the fat is certainly in the fire. With almost 60 minutes of playing time to go and anything can happen. A beautifully engineered goal. Worthy of a great game. Sneddon again for Kilmarnock. Berry. Sneddon. Betty Black. Still Black. It's pretty good for to McElroy. And it's a goal! Hamilton again. Gordon's in there. Watson clearing. McAnally. Well, I don't know how long this game's going to go on. It's played well overdue by me. A great save. Magnificent save by Ferguson. That is Willie Waddle. Right on he goes. There is Willie Waddle, and what a joyful man he must be. Fantastic scenes. Waddle's been hocked by supporters, by players, and if ever a man has gone out of Scottish football with a blaze of glory, it's Willie Waddle. Fantastic scenes at Tyne Castle. Hi, David. Today's the very day that we won the league 40 years ago. It just so happens that it's your birthday today as well. Does this bring back a lot of memories for you today? Yes, it does. Uh, it was a lovely day. It was amazing. It was a nice day as this. Uh, the sun was shining. Um, it was a day where we tried to keep things cool, but it wasn't very easy because uh, it was a big game. It was a big game. I met a lot of the boys last night uh, at uh, the sponsors' do, and it was lovely to see them again. We all got older. <laughs> I mean, uh, as you say, 40 years is a long time. It's, uh, it's great to see a lot of the, the local boys clubs who are represented tonight as well, David. Uh, what's your memories of the, the boys clubs in your day in comparison to nowadays? Well, I, tell me, I don't think it was well organised. We, we, had, we hadn't as many teams. Um, I was just telling somebody, I used to play for the school in the morning and come home and change my case. Another strip man played for the boys' brigade in the afternoon. It amazes me when People say you play too many games. You can't even play too many games. <laughs> Maybe I was lazy. I, I, I would rather have played than trained. <laughs> uh, two games a week suited me fine. Um, if you didn't get an injury, it was smashing. But uh, no, I think I had a lot of enjoyment coming through schools, boys' brigade, um, juvenile. Mm -hmm. um, I went through all the grades, junior and then senior. And I played in the army. I did my national service. Yeah. And I think that was a great thing for me because it let me mature a wee bit. I'd already signed for Dundee. Um, and uh, I think it let me mature a wee bit because I was a wee scale. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, with the, the, the game as it is today, it's, it's even more important than ever that clubs have good youth systems, youth academies to develop boys for the, the long term future of the clubs. If you don't have a base, you can't have a, a cream, can you? I mean, you've, you've got to have the, 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 these boys coming through. And, yeah. Uh, I'm, I've been watching today. And it's lovely to see, I mean, a wee boy is about four foot nothing. <laughs> uh, and he's, uh, he's, he's loving it. Everybody's loving it. And there's no viciousness or no, they're just playing. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I love to watch that. It, uh, it's great. Having been a manager yourself, David, uh, do you prefer to bring players through or buy them in? I think the greatest satisfaction, the greatest satisfaction is bringing somebody through. You can, you buy talent, but to make talent. An old coach said to me, you'll never make a player. You'll help him to be a player. Because if he hasn't got it, you can't give him it. But you can help him 
in certain situations to do certain things. What you have, uh, you know, in your experience, you had done, you know, you did uh, when you were a player, uh, and it worked. And it's lovely uh, to see a boy maturing, you know, even from that age, bringing them through uh, from the age of what we were watching the game there. Um, it's great to, to see. Um, it's great to spot, say, this boy, that there's something there. And uh, you, 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 it's great if you, if you, if you can uh, bring that through and mature it you know, over, over a, a period of time. And it, it's great to see a youngster. Enthusiasm, I, I think if they've got enthusiasm, that's the one they play, and that's, that's half the battle. Out, out the current crop, Kilmarnock have been have a good record in recent years of bringing through youngsters. Who out the current crop do you think is uh, heading for the big time? Every Naismith seems to be doing well. He's enthusiastic. Oh, he, you can't you can't uh, kill him. You know, he, he would run all day. In fact, I think Jim had played him right because he was taken off after an hour mm -hmm. because the boy had run his so done. And, and young McDonald, I think he's a better player running into the, the box. Uh, uh, because he's big and strong, and we can't tackle him because uh, they possibly take him down. The, as I say, the wee left back, I like the wee left back. He, he plays good ball, he's got a yeah. good left leg. And yesterday I thought the big centre half really played awful well. Yeah. Um, that, uh, no, that everybody played a part. Um, but uh, as you say, I would, I loved to, to bring somebody through. Mm -hmm. You know, what about the guys right. you did bring through yourself? Can you pinpoint any that you think have been a great success? Well, I, the, the one, I, the one I, I, I bring to mind, who I had him when he was 12 year old, was Gordon Smith. Gordon was a member of uh, it was school team in Stevenson, and the link up was that my BB teacher was the music teacher, <laughs> and he got me to go down and, and train with him or, or coach them <laughs> on, on a Tuesday night. And I had Gordon when he was 12, and he was. He had something extra. Well, thanks a lot, David. Just like to say um, happy birthday, first of all. <laughs> thanks again for the, the greatest day in Kilmarnock football's history. And a huge thanks for your 40 plus years of fantastic service to the club. Cheers, Thank mate. You very much. Well, David, we're delighted to be holding the very shirt that you wore that famous day in 1965. Unfortunately, there's no chance any of us two getting this chip on. <laughs> so, it's no, time for you to put it back on, get out there and get this game started. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Okay. We've got a wee bit heavier since then. <laughs> <laughs>